Hi everyone and welcome to my guilty pleasure haul because this is from Nature's Art and this is her fall, I, mean, I guess Halloween as well, fall Halloween stuff that I absolutely go crazy for every year. Um, right now these are what she had on her website and so I have to get some. Um, <clears throat> these are just delectable. They are amazing and gorgeous. Thank you so much, Kim, for the scrub. Awesome. Um, I had to ask Rena not to use it yet because her little hands just want this so bad. Um, this is an amazing scent. So this is what I got. I actually got three of these um, Royal Baker soaps, which is that one right there. I'm using one already because it's awesome. And yeah, I absolutely love it. So let's get started with what I've got. So the whole reason I wanted to even get anything was for the pumpkin juice. And I heard that her pumpkin juice was a little um, more biscotti scented this year. And um, this, but when I seen it, when I opened up the bag, I was just like in heaven. Because look at this beautiful bar of soap. It is so rustic. I would swear this is a piece of cake, like pumpkin cake. It is beautiful. Now y'all know these are my favorite kind of soaps. Just thick, fat, just rustic looking. This is absolutely gorgeous. It is a beautiful, beautiful soap. I love the way it looks. I'm just like, do I want to use it? I want to use it like now. Oh, and it smells so, so good. This is such a bakery scent. It's spicy, like cinnamon and nutmeg. and It smells spicy to me. I like like cake, spicy cake is what it smells. Let me see. She has a description. Look at how cute she is the wax. Um I love these can, they're gorgeous. Let's see what the description says. From the famous Wizarding Halls, our annual fall release has arrived. The aroma of freshly baked Italian biscotti, delicious notes of pumpkin and fresh walnuts. Ooh, that smells so good. This smells really good. It's spicy though. I think it's it's not really strong in cinnamon or anything like that, but you do smell the spices. Oh, this is really nice. I can't wait to use that. The next one that I am in love with is this one. It's the Royal Baker one. I'll tell you what it says it smells like, and then I'll tell you what I think it smells like. And it says the Royal Baker Royal? The Royal Baker himself has created this magical cake. Fit for a king. Oh, yeah, it does smell like cake. The luscious baked good is filled with exotic spices and precious vanillas from ah around the world. Warm amber notes blended with multiple dark. Yeah, it's exactly what it smells like. Oh, amber and vanilla, and this is gorgeous. Oh, man, that smells so good. And look how pretty that is. The swirls in it. Look at that. The white, it's white on top. Looks like you just want to bite it. This is a really nice, rich vanilla scent. Not like vanilla extract scent or like vanilla you get, you put in a melt in your house. Mm, it's just a really rich, foody bakery vanilla. With that amber, it just cuts down the sweetness and it is gorgeous. I love this. You smell the vanilla straight away. And then it goes straight into the amber, and then they meet together and they combine. And oh man, this is just gorgeous, it's delicious. Mmm, that is really good. I really like that one. Okay, the next one is copper kettle corn. I love like popcorn balls and caramel corn and all that stuff. So this is really good. Let's see what it says it smells like. I love these descriptions. It says, I push my way the throng of people. I stand in awe in front of his massive copper kettle. Ooh, that sounds good. Smiling and joking with the crowd, he stirs popping corn with a giant wooden paddle. Quickly, his assistant, a small boy... What does it say? I can't see. Oh. Quick, and is that deft? Throws in a sparkling bowl of sweet sugar and smells turn to the most amazing thing. Freshly popped popcorn blended with a little sweetness and a little salt. Man, I need some new glasses. I need reading glasses now and have them on. Oh, I don't even care what that says. 
This smells like freaking caramel corn. This is so good. Mmm. This is delicious. This is practically true to the scent. You can smell popcorn and you can smell the caramel. Why didn't I get more of these, big dummy? You know what, Kim? For some reason, I thought it was candy corn. I didn't get that it was kettle corn. And yeah. See, that's what I get for not paying attention. <laughs> that is awesome. Now, the one I'm really excited about <clears throat> is this one. And this is Moon Cakes. <coughs> and this has to be the most beautiful soap. I want you to see that. If I can put it. The dark sky with gray clouds and that beautiful moon. Can you see that? How pretty that is? Look at that. That is gorgeous. And on top she has the beautiful moss and the glitters. It reminds me of the sky, the stars in the sky. Oh my god, this smells familiar. Mmm. <laughs> this smells familiar, Kim. I don't remember what it was, but I think there was something that you made that was almost like this, and I remember loving it. Oh, this smells, is it the amber in it? I don't know, does it have amber in it? Let's see the description. It smells really good, very foody. This is a sweet cookie like, uh-huh, scent of a blend of warm spices, cinnamon, clove, and nutmeg. It gives you that warm home and heart feeling like a cozy cottage with enchants you and pull of her... And it blah 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 blah. I can't even read. With a coldy cut. Let's start all over, y'all. This is a sweet cookie like scent with a blend of warm spices, cinnamon, clove, and nutmeg. Okay. It gives you that warm home and heart feeling like a cozy cottage with a fireplace in a cold evening. I got it. With a full moon rising, it <laughs> enchants you. And the pool of her energies draws you into the woods. Woo! I got it. I read it. Yeah! Okay, so it smells like a cookie. Oh. I don't know why this kind of smells ambery to me. But it is good. It is definitely bakery. But it, this is one of those scents where, you know, sometimes you smell something and there's one, one scent that you smell first or it comes through really quickly. This is unique because it's not like that. When you smell it, you smell everything at once, so every scent is blended. So you can't quite grasp exactly what's in there. It's just beautiful. It reminds me of um, Donna from Valhalla Soap used to make, is it her Loki soaps? The ones that were, are they the Loki soaps that she used to put a whole bunch of different stuff in there and there was just a whole mixture of stuff so you couldn't really tell what it was and every time you smell it, you smelled something different. Hello, that's how this is. It's every time I smell it, I smell something different. Oh, sweet. And then, oh man, that is really good. This is gorgeous. To look at, it's beautiful. That is definitely a fall scent. That is so pretty. Look at that. Gorgeous. And then Kim sent us the mooncake sugar scrub, which I absolutely love the sugar scrubs. And look at that. It's like the moon in the sky. And there's the colors. Very pretty. Mm, now you can smell, I know if most people do this, they recognize that you can smell uh, a little bit stronger scents in your scrubs and uh, in your lotions than you will in your soap. So this is a lot stronger than the actual bar of soap. And this is very spicy and sweet. And it also, it reminds me of a cookie between a snickerdoodle. I don't, I don't want to say banana, but some kind of a sweet bread. Or maybe a pumpkin bread and a snickerdoodle. Mm, almost a mixture. It's real a carrot cake, almost like a carrot cake of pumpkin bread with snickerdoodle. This is really nice, and you know these scrubs are amazing. Rena just wants to use this. 
Oh, it smells so good. Really, really beautiful. So that was it. That was my haul. I'm. This is Tanner's. He gets BarkBox, and this is what BarkBox did this year. They got a squeaky mummy. <laughs> so this is his squeaky mummy. It's super long with grouchy eyes and his little arms. And I don't know why I have him up here, but I have him up here. So that's his squeaky mummy. I'm going to leave him here. He's so cute. Um, <clears throat> This is a guilty pleasure. Oh, I have a sample. I am not sure what the sample is. I think she has... um. Is it candy something? If you go on there, I think it's a candy one. Spun candy or something. I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, Kim. This is completely different than I thought. When I smelled, when she described it, for some reason I thought it was going to be like Lush's um, Snow Fairy or Rockstar. That's what was on my mind. I'm like, Rockstar probably. No, this is really like a fruity... This reminds me of now and laters. <laughs> or taffy. No, is it now and laters? <clears throat> what are they called? Are they now and laters? Now and laters. Do you remember they were like these little square taffy chews that you used to um, get? That's exactly what it reminds me of. The strawberry one, the grape one, they had the apple one, but when you first open them, they smelled like this. If you remember now and later, that's what this smells like. Oh, this is good. And I kind of get what she was talking about, the description about this, the candy, and this is gorgeous. I love it. Okay, so this is it, my Guilty Pleasure haul. I'm loving this. I'm already using one of these. Very, very, very moisturizing. Her soaps are extremely creamy and extremely moisturizing, and this is why I buy them all the time, because they're awesome on your skin. The scent is so fun to use in the shower. It's really strong, but when you get out, it doesn't really linger on your skin, so it won't mix with any perfume or anything you use. It's just a beautiful, beautiful soap. And um, if you haven't tried any of these Nature's Art soaps, you really are missing out because they are gorgeous. Uh, everyone I know who has tried them absolutely loves her soaps. They feel like cream on your skin. They do have a lot of bubbles. Um, which is something a lot of people like, but they're super creamy. A lot of soaps that have, you know, a nice amount of bubbles aren't really creamy or moisturizing. These are. So I really love these soaps. Um, go check her out on her website and try some because you're really missing out if you don't. These are some awesome soaps. And I can't wait to see what you do again for the rest of the fall collection. I'm excited and I love what you've got so far. So, okay, we'll see you later. Everyone be blessed. And don't forget to go check out her website and see what she has. Bye.